Uh, but let's go back to the, the, the debate. So sure. your counter to what I just said, do you understand why David Buss might think that this doesn't fit in evolution? Right, right. Okay, so so I think we've had this. Oh, hold on. Let, let me finish what I was saying. Uh -huh. I think at a certain point, it's 85% mate switching and 15% uh, dual mating, mm -hmm. and then it switches. And when they get later, it's like less likely for them to like, I just don't see the 35 year old woman who's trying to find a husband who is still gonna go cheat with Chad at the fucking, at, in Vegas to try to get his sperm. I just, okay. to me, that doesn't make sense evolutionarily. Okay. That's what I'm saying. All right, I'm, I, I will give you a recent example and I'm okay. not sure this is actually, people say this is true, it's rumor, it's not. Uh, I did a show on Steve Harvey with uh, about his uh, soon to be ex-wife, I guess, who was getting after it with the bodyguard and getting after it with the chef. Okay. Whether or not that's true, I, I, again, I maybe I jumped the gun on that, yeah. but um, let's just say for sake of argument it is. Here you have a woman who is married to a guy who, who has everything, right? He's got money, he's sure. got status, he's got fame and everything else. And the one thing he doesn't have is he doesn't have that alpha gravitas that like maybe the bodyguard had or the, uh, so there's always going to be, you're going to fuck the pool boy. Bro, there is a lot of Dr. Phil in Steve Harvey. And oh, yeah. speaking as yeah, someone yeah. 20 years sure. ago who was the biggest Steve Harvey fan, Steve mm -hmm. Harvey was Dave Chappelle to me 20 years ago. He was mm -hmm. fucking hilarious, but he would say some inappropriate things that were really funny. And then now he's turned into a game show host. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, he's just the black Dr. Phil at this yeah. point. So, um, but, and, I, and I know I've met Dr. Phil, but yeah. like the whole thing as far as um, like there's a reason why we have that trope or that archetype of she's a rich you know bored housewife and there's the pool boy and that's how porn movies start yeah. right so um, the reason why we have that the reason why that seems believable is because it's not that that she's looking for a long-term partner in Chad Thundercock or Brock the bartender it's that I was drunk, he was cute, and one thing led to yeah. another. And it's not necessarily because maybe she's bored because she's got with a guy who, who ostensibly, anyways, has everything she needs for her long-term security. Yeah. So you have to remember that in, when we're looking at dual mating strategy, we're looking at alpha fucks and beta bucks. Okay? Yeah. I'm just saying that as, as a, 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 a blanket statement here, okay? How that shakes out it really kind of depends on the context and, and the society and everything else. But the fact of the matter is, is women have short-term sex and they have long-term sex. That's in evolution of desire right yes. there. So, um, so short-term sex, what's that, what is that about? Well, alpha fucks, right? They, I, I, he was hot. It's arousal. It's, it's lust. It's, uh, you know, hormones. It's being in the right place at the right time. Uh, not necessarily being so much funny as in like he's available yeah. and it was, it's an, it's, it's a fuck of opportunity basically is what it is. And then there's, okay, so there's cads and then there's dads, yeah. right? And so then there's the dads who will uh, will make him jump through all these hoops. He has not going to be as exciting as the guy who is the, you know, the alpha guy, yeah. the hot guy in the foam cannon party, as I always say. And then, but he has long-term prospects, mm. okay? Or he already has those, he already has the long-term security and all she has to do is sort of consolidate on that. So then you've got the guy who's not as exciting as the fun guys that she had when she was in her ho phase, her party years, yeah. right? 18 to 28. And she's still making those comparisons. We see this in movie after movie after we see this in a, a, what is it, a Titanic, for yeah. example. She she's this rich little debutante on the Titanic, and she falls in love with you know five minutes of Alpha Trump's five years of Beta, right? So you know Jack goes to the the icy bottom of the sea, and then later on Rose lives to be a hundred some odd years old, and we see in the last scene of Titanic how um, she's lived this glorious lifestyle, riding English horses, yeah. and she's Amelia Earhart, and she goes you know shooting quail and all this other stuff, and the one person she cares about at the end of her life is literally symbolized in the heart of the sea, which sure. is the diamond that slips to the bottom of the ocean, and she she lives happily ever after when the icy grave with Jack, right? That's the difference between say dual mating strategy and the, the, the guy she wants to fuck and the guy she wants, so, so, she, she's going to pine over versus the guy that she's going to be having all her, her lifestyle is funded by. And we, we think of that as, as this very romantic, I mean, it's romance novels yeah. follow this. In fact, the, the formula for romance novels is really a woman agonizing over the guy who's hot and fun and, yes. and, and untamable Tarzan versus the guy who's dependable, loyal. He's always going to be there, but he's just not as excited as Tarzan. So if she could, she can't lock down that guy, she's got to find some way to sort of turn the beta male, the, the, the dependable safe guy, make him a little bit more exciting. It's like beta with the side of alpha yeah. or alpha. And we got to make him a little bit beta so he can be a, a, a good provider, protector and parentally invested in the whole thing. Okay. So, so I think what the concept of she's makes rules for betas and breaks rules for alphas. I've, mm -hmm. I've, I, in my early twenties, I was on one side of that, and I mm -hmm. definitely on another side of it now. I uh, constantly we have girls on the show, and uh, Lana, if a girl consistently says, "I don't sleep with guys on the first date," what does that mean? 
They sleep with guys. It on the means first that they've slept with guys on the first day. So <laughs> obviously, they're making a rule, a new rule uh, for for the things they've yeah, done before. Because they tend to be in a different phase of life at that point. Sure. Because what happens is during their hoe phase, they have higher sexual capital, so mm -hmm. they can they can afford to make mistakes. Oh, we're talking about from, early twenty. We're talking yeah, about 20, 18 to twenty. Eighteen years to twenty. Okay, okay, so yeah. she can like twenty two year old, twenty three year old. Yeah. She can afford to make mistakes that she can't afford to make when she's 29, 30, 31 years yeah. old. Because what happens is you got a ten year window for a woman through a, hopefully you, you live a very long life. Let's just say 90 years, 100 years or something like that. Uh -huh. So 10 years out of 100 years is where you have that space to maximize your uh, your reproductive, uh, you know, you solve your reproductive sure. problems and then consolidate on long-term security. What happens is, and this is why I disagree with Dr. Buss as far as the mate switching hypothesis is concerned, is it takes place after the mating is already there. So why do women cheat? Okay, we can have that discussion, but why do they get into the situation that they get into in the first place? I think it's putting okay. the cart before the horse. So, so I, th I think I and understand. I think that now. biology is upstream okay. from society and from behavior. Okay. Okay. So, so his argument, because mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand from your, you and I agree on the empirical things we see, mm -hmm. both the statistics and what we see from you know having hundreds of girls. Last on the night show. at Omnia. Yeah, last night at Omnia. <laughs> right. We, we went to uh, shout out to Masha Didigo. We went to her birthday last night. So. Um, from from that side, I, I don't think we disagree, and I don't think Dr. Buss would disagree with any mm. of those stats or any of these ideas. I don't think they can't coexist. Put it that way. I yeah. Just, okay. I so just so this, this is my I point. I just think they're putting too much emphasis I don't, on social construction. I don't understand why 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 mate switching is wrong. That's my my issue. I agree mm. with you. Like obviously, women like to, you, the the great example is the Jeff Bezos photo with his new uh, fiance, and she's looking up at at, at, uh, at Lauren uh, Dirty Sanchez. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> and and uh, she's looking up at Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. Like look that oh, photo yeah. up if you want to. That is such a great example of of women treating one man a man one way and another man the other mm -hmm. way but i think the concept of i think when he's talking about mating he's talking about the actual passing of genetics mm -hmm. and in that case like often she's not passing brock's genetics on and i think that's where these things get a little bit different do you understand what, you understand I what i'm would, saying i would agree with that but only up to a point now here's why i wouldn't because when you look at the if you look at today just i'm just going to be quoting some more stats if you yep. look at uh uh, single single mothers right today. So we're looking at 42% of women have children out of wedlock. If you get into the black community, it's 70%. Mm. Or, and in some cases, it's even higher than that, yeah. just depending on demographically speaking. But overall, the average is about 42 to 45%, depending on who we're talking about. So you're still looking at a very large number of women who are, are uh, essentially solving their reproductive problem, but they're doing it proactively or they're doing it reactively. So when I talk about like literally cuckoldry, there's a proactive element to that and then there's a reactive element to that so what most people you here's one of those uncomfortable truths that nobody likes to because yeah. i don't sugarcoat it uh single mothers are essentially retroactive cuck cuckolding retroactively the the guy that ends up becoming the uh the step daddy okay. okay so you have you take like a britney renner who gets with pj washington who's a great you know he's a great provider and she doesn't have to stick with the guy yeah. she gets his seed and she has his babies and now she's basically guaranteed a and that's an extreme example i understand yeah. that but she's basically guaranteed a what two hundred thousand dollars a year or something yeah. i think that's what it was and meanwhile she can now go and decide who she i mean she's bipolar as it is but like she can go and decide who she wants to spend the rest you know long-term security wise because she's already consolidated and she's already got what she needs from the alpha fuck side but she doesn't necessarily have what she needs from the beta book side now she you could argue and say well she's getting two hundred thousand dollars a month from pj washington but that's again that's a that's an outlier right yeah. there so what we're looking at is 42 percent of women having children out of wedlock why are they doing that is it because they really want to have kids or is it because they got with the guy who is the superior genetic got with him, had the baby, and now they're looking for the superior security provisioning, long-term security side of things when they get to be 29, 30, 31 years old. Okay, so I think the, the a, a so counter... So it's a retroactive a, 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 count, a counter to that, and this is me, not mm -hmm. not, not Dr. Buss, uh, would be the, the idea that in the ancestral period, the, the ability for a woman to be this delusional didn't exist. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like, like her ability to sh to flaunt her wares on social media, mm -hmm. then to face app and face tune it, mm -hmm. and then have a delusional belief about what her value is, mm -hmm. didn't exist in the ancestral period. So I don't know that this. Like, what I'm saying is, I don't think what you're describing is dual mating or mate switching. I think it is female delusion mm -hmm. at a certain point, which then it causes is. them, which causes a massive amount of divorce.